Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for joining me again. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to put together a double pane window, an IG. And I'm gonna show you guys from the beginning, um, the whole process. So this one's gonna be a little bit different from my other video from a couple years ago. Um, so I hope you guys uh, like this one. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Share, friends and family. Um, let them know what's up. Thank you. All right guys, so first of all, we're gonna start out by measuring our glass. You want to make sure you have your proper size for proper fit. And then you're just going to grab your diamond blade glass cutter. A little cutting stick here. Clamp it down. Make sure you have it uh, right over your little mark. And then you're going to just score the glass firmly from top to bottom. And just kind of snap it right off. A little bit of pressure upward. And it breaks right off. And right here, I'm just gonna uh, cut my other side, my other sizes. Probably my width or my height. I'm not quite sure, honestly. <laughs> um, but once you uh, get your sizes here, just the same thing. Um, and in this particular part, I'm just gonna uh, do them both at the same time or at once. And, uh, and then just snap them both off. As you can see they're pretty easy next step is you're gonna grab your your spacer here this one here is only 3 8 uh, thick here because we are doing a 5 8 overall thickness uh, with 8 inch pieces of glass um, all right so once you get your sizes cut here what you want to do actually is cut your spacer one inch smaller than your glass size um, some people do seven eighths, um, but an easy one just to remember is always just an inch smaller than your glass size. Um, and then uh, once you get both uh, your pieces here, the next thing you're gonna do is just grab your little corners. Um, put, go ahead and you can put two on there. And what you're gonna wanna do next is uh, grab, grab your desiccant, uh, which I'll show you here in the next little image. This is going to help uh, absorb any moisture trying to get in or trying to escape the glass. Um, as you can see here, just little little beads. If you try to spray some water or glass cleaner on them, they actually start warming up. You can kind of feel the heat of them trying to soak up the moisture. Um, so once you get um, one side filled, just put your other two corners and then you're going to do the same thing. Um, Grab your two other little sticks, a spacer, and uh, <clears throat> and start filling. And once uh, once you get them all filled up, you're pretty much just gonna put it all together. Um, and as you can see here, once you get it all together, it's uh, one of the one of the most important parts is cleaning your glass. Make sure you have no smudges or fingerprints, anything on there. Um, because it is something the customer will complain about. Some shops have the luxury of having a machine that uh, they just put it in and it just washes the glass with some little light in the background so you can so you can see. Um, but we're not that lucky. <laughs> so once you get your glass all cleaned up, um, you see here, just set your spacer on top of one side. Uh, Grab your other piece of glass, just set it on top, kind of center it out, grab uh, your clamps, <clears throat> and uh, you're ready to start shooting some, uh, some butyl in there. Uh, as you can see here, just kind of nice, little smooth glide all the way across, um, across the glass there. And the bucket there on top, I just have it to uh, help hold a spacer kind of put some weight on there so when I'm uh, putting this hot butyl on sometimes it tends to try to push it in uh, as you can see here just a nice smooth even glide all the way across and make sure you get a proper fill um, and uh, as you can see here once you're all done you can just uh, get a little razor knife and clean off your excess but this one looks pretty good um, and uh, 
once you get it all done it's pretty much ready for install i want to appreciate uh, i want to thank you guys for uh, for sticking around watching and uh hope uh, to be posting some more videos here soon thank you guys